Good like afternoon to you. I'm Stacey Ann Providence, and this is your C News update. The Caribbean Airlines aircraft that made an emergency stop in St. Lucia on Sunday this week is back in Trinidad and Tobago, but has not been put back into service. Head of Corporate Communications at Caribbean Airlines, Dion Nagol, refuted reports of a fire on the aircraft that prompted the emergency landing. There was a warning light in the cockpit. I repeat, there was a warning light which came on in the cockpit. There was absolutely, categorically, no fire on any Caribbean Airlines plane. She added she cannot say when the aircraft will be put back into service, stating all the vital steps must be completed. When something happens, you have steps which you must take. The steps which follow an emergency landing means that the independent bodies have to undertake inspections of the aircraft. The aircraft does not return to service without particular and very rigorous inspections taking place. A search is on for a woman who disappeared from a home in Karpi Chima yesterday. 35-year-old Anisha Ramsunda was last seen at home at Waterloo Road around 4.25 p.m. She was reported missing to the Freeport Police Station around 9.20 last night by her husband, Darum. Anisha is of East Indian descent, 5 feet 6 inches tall, slim built with a brown complexion and long black hair. Now she was last seen wearing a green polo t-shirt, a pair of three-quarter pants, and a pair of gold earrings. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Anisha Ramsunda is asked to call 800 tips or contact the police at 555-999-911 or any police station. Well, some people who have not been affected by Tropical Storm Brett are trying to claim grants from agencies such as the Ministry of Social Development and the Self-Help Commission. This from the relief officer at the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, Captain Neville Wint, who says this is causing the process of helping those actually affected to slow down. Captain Wint says they are basically trying to commit fraud. You have persons trying to double dip and triple dip, and you have persons who have not been impacted submitting reports for damages. So you submit a report, you get a report that you have been impacted. When they go out to your place to... to substantiate your claim, then they will see whether or not the washing machine that you claim you lost was really an old washing machine that you had in your yard and not a washing machine that was just damaged by the flood. Or the roof that you said that was damaged, there was never a roof in the first place. He says the agencies are doing what is necessary to ensure help is given to all those affected. However, people are not being patient, hence the process may seem to be taking a bit longer than expected. Over 3,000 people have been assessed thus far, and grants have been given out. Captain Wynn says at this time there is no cutoff date for people wanting to make a claim, however it is being considered. We are considering that now that was a, a, a discussion, but there, at this point in time, no. Because if you come in, you make a report, but your report cannot be evaluated with them, um, that is it. But at this time, no cut of date has been established. The majority of persons who have been impacted have been assessed, have submitted their reports, and um, are getting assistance. In sport now, the switch is well and truly on as football seems to be headed to the Atto Bolden Stadium and environs. Already, the TTFA, Women's Football Secondary Schools League, and the TT Super League and are housed at the Kuva venue and now the World Cup qualifier between the TNT Warriors and Honduras set for September 1st is heading to the Atto Bolden Stadium. Kickoff is set for 8 o'clock and the hope is that fans from Central and South Trinidad will take the opportunity to attend the game and fill up the stadium. Now the Haisley Crawford Stadium for so long the mecca for all international football matches involving the Warriors has not been drawing large crowds and the David John Williams administration feels that they stand a better chance to attract more supporters in Coover than in Port of Spain at this time. The Warriors are in need of points and a win at home followed by another positive result against Panama on the road will greatly enhance TNT's chance. And that was your C News update. I'm Stacey on Providence. Do have yourself a good Friday afternoon.